This is video number 541. Welcome to my life, kings and queens. I recently made a video series containing four videos where I grieved about the loss of four people out of my life within a period of one month. I grieved these losses. I spent a lot of time soaking up God's goodness, His comforting, His mercy. I ended off this process of making a declaration just like the king Abijah from Judah who also went up a mountain before a battle and he made a prophetic declaration, speaking it over his life and his army and then they conquered. So this was my reason behind making this video is to make prophetic declarations of victory following this goodbye journey. Abijah went up Mount Zemarim. So my videos, my time to say goodbye journey was my Mount Zemarim. What do you what do you do when tragedy strikes? Do you host a pity party for one or do you climb up Mount Zemarim? I finished this video series on time to say goodbye on Tuesday. The following day this happened in my life. This is how sudden God can change our circumstances. Sila, pause and think about this for a while. The following morning, I woke up with a WhatsApp from a foreign number. She told me the story that she had a dream about the name of our ministry, Beth Sever, and she was forced to look it up on the internet. What was the meaning of this word, Beth Sever? Then she found us on the web. She sent me a message for a request for coffee. I did what any normal, excited, wide-eyed, wondered girl would do. I immediately shared this majestically moment with two of my dearest co-journey sister friends. One of my sister friends took it five steps further. This princess that sent me the message actually were a BFF at school. How amazing is this? They lost contact after school, but she, but still, she only has very fond memories and dear memories of this girl at school. So I'm very excited about this new, fantastic, meet cute story I have. Isn't this just too amazing for words? When lost, did someone dream about something dear and treasured of your life? A stranger. And then she takes the next step and she contacts you. This is just way too amazing. I can actually be this cheeky and say, I think this is one of the biggest moments I've ever experienced in ministry. If she can dream about us, can I be this, be this cheeky to say, if this can happen again, please Lord, can I have an upgrade on this moment, an Ephesians 3 verse 20 moment. But the next time, can somebody like Julia Roberts please dream about Betsy ever? The second story of a new Kings and Queens chapter in my life was also on the same day where I received an Instagram direct message about a company that sells Christian merchandise and they would like to collaborate. How amazing is this? I can remember that I read in an Ida Fenter, a well-known South African socialite autobiography a few years ago where she mentioned that she receives ample freebies to use to market. And I thought to myself, now wouldn't it be nice? This was one small step of the company contacting me. I was so excited. I was over the moon. I'm still doing a small seated victory dance about this gesture. So may you too realize every new beginning starts from some other beginning's end. Sometimes God removes the pawns just in chess so that we can upgrade them to kings and queens. Just one final note, most of the people that walked out of my life asked me to release them. Maybe this was the deeper lesson, the submarine lesson that I had to learn with this little exercise. How to biblically, how to spiritually release people. This is something that I will always be grateful for, learning how to release someone. In order for me to have the they lived happily ever after moment. For all of us, I wish the same to the people that walked out of my life. This morning I read this quote and it so appropriately describes me. How wow is this? Never apologize for being too sensitive or emotional. 
let this be a sign that you've got a big heart and aren't afraid to let others see it. Showing your emotions is a sign of strength. The end.